we're starting off the day at the laundromats. Doing our darks and whites. We're gonna drop it off, but we found out it'd probably be better for us to just do it ourselves. And it's probably cheaper that way, but it is gonna take a little bit of time, but we're gonna get some food instead of just waiting. We're just New York day, Saturday, and we're gonna go get some breakfast at a cool place. Just loving it. This is a natural history museum. This is another planet they found. We're in the museum, we're in the space part. There's a planetarium up there that we're gonna go to. But it's pretty cool actually so far. There's this asteroid that orbited the Earth, the sun for like millions of years and then a part of it finally crashed into our Earth. And it, the, the one that it started out was the size of New York. Andy wanted to be an astronaut when he was a boy. So he loves this stuff. He used floppy disks to like write down information so he could become a astronaut. Do you guys remember floppy disks? I'm gonna shot one of these. Andy, I'm gonna shot one of these. He's that kind of guy. Could you have? Seen the mammals and stuff. These are sort of boring mammals right now. Oh, cats. We're gonna go see the cats. So we just saw the wolves, but then Andy said this is the best. Hand standing thing. Nothing's better than Mr. Bear over there. I'm gonna have my own like live bears eventually. So this has been a cool little apartment. I know I've already showed you guys before, but we found out today that the uh, uh, monthly rent on this is $3,000. So we stayed in a $3,000 apartment for $100 a night for both of us. Pretty good, right down next to Central Park. I just realized his pricing scheme is exactly what he pays a night to stay here. Is it? 3000 100 bucks a night. <laughs> it's really nice. It's way nice of him. He could have charged more, and we probably wouldn't have been here, but he could have. And yeah, it's awesome. Leaving Riverside area, this part of the city. It's been pretty fun over here, but we probably won't come around here very much more. Huge uh, subway station we've been down, and tons of stuff all around the world. Good thing about going places with your best friend is you share beds. <laughs> we bought this room like super cheap day of with this app, but they don't. They say it can fit two people, but they don't say how. I guess so. Both of us will be on the king size bed, but we actually slept closer recently on that other bed than this will probably be. Now that I think about it, so I don't know why this is feels worse, but it's just like fancier. It's like. Worse. We're watching some World Cup in our bed. We're gonna go get some Grimaldi's New York pizza and bike the Brooklyn Bridge. Yeah. I don't think you can hear us right now. It's pretty loud in here. Probably hard to hear me, but we're at Grimaldi's. It's supposed to be like the best pizza in all of New York ever. And we basically know Manhattan like the back of our hands now. It's like, it's like a really big deal. Yeah. I'm not saying that. <laughs> We're gonna get make some sandwiches for tomorrow for this Sunday. We have a pizza also for breakfast. <laughs> but this is the most amazing thing I could ever see. Oh, this is like my favorite store of all time. So this part of town's pretty cool and quaint and not really any skyscrapers. We took some city bikes down here and then my knee's killing. It's like bruised actually now. So Magnolia's Bakery really is a health food store. Like just remember that. But here's a chess board in like the park in New York and it's just like everything I remember from movies and things. It's the best. It's probably my last night in New York, so I thought I'd film a little bit more. I'm very grateful for this sweet experience. And right here, Andy? Yeah. And I hope you all are having a wonderful week and have a great night. Go ahead, subscribe, like this video, and take selfies of yourself. That's all Andy does. <laughs>